So one of the things I want to talk about today is creativity. And why creativity? I'll tell you why creativity. It's not what you think it is. It's the number one, when 1,500 CEOs were surveyed, it's the number one thing. Not number on the top 10, not interesting, not neat. Number one requirement they were looking for in leadership. 1,500 CEOs. Creativity. 75 out of every 100 people feel like they are not reaching their creative potential. 67% of people want an element of creativity in their job. Going back to Jason earlier, Sebastian just says, go do your thing, and you have to figure it out. 67% of people want that. What is creativity? Sure, this is creativity. Guy painted a fancy painting on a ceiling. Ansel Adams took a nice picture of some mountains. There's no debate that we're seeing creativity right here. This is Paul McCartney. But creativity and art, art is just but a very, very small set of creativity. So I'm going to ask you through the next 15 minutes to think much larger than you have about creativity than ever before. Art is but a subset of creativity. What else is creativity? MLK Jr. This is how he organized people to change civil rights in America. Very creative. Felix Baumgartner jumping out of a, I don't even know what the hell you call this thing. <laughs> right? This is crazy. Some space balloon. And he falls at, at 600 miles an hour. Some physicist in there is now like 548. But whatever it was, he's plump. Incredibly creative way to push what's possible in, with human humanity, or with, with humanity. This is a brick, unless you shape it into something different and then put it on your low rider. <laughs> That is mechanical engineering applied to creativity. This is creativity applied to electrical engineering, making a light bulb work. This is theoretical science and creativity combined in a very elegant phrase that describes the universe. Imagination is greater than knowledge. So what I posit here is a... Uh, I think this guy's name is Rex Jung from the University of New Mexico. They did a study, and they, they, they separated these folks, and they put them through a course, and the course was designed to evoke the most creative elements that they could out of each of these things. And you know what they figured out? That creativity is absolutely not correlated at all with what job you have. It's generally a mindset you go into a test with or a mindset that you live with. How many people, show of hands, were told at some point in their life, ah, you're not creative, you should probably stick to science. Do me a favor, it's post-lunch, but put your hand up if you were told that. <laughs> some, some. I was one of those people, my mom was one of those people, and I'll tell you a story about her in a second. The reality is the science says that our creativity quotient is the same across all of these disciplines. So. It's important for me to convey, if I'm going to leave you with anything, this is a way of operating. It's not something you have or you do not have. And again, the question you're asking me is, yeah, but I'm not really, I don't want to be a painter, Chase. I want to, I'm telling you, it translates into everything.